Yo, what's going on, Epic7? I'm Sue, and this is my beginner's guide to Abyss Floor 104. Floor 104 will have you facing off against the Mur High Priest. When you get to her floor, she will spawn three adds, these uh, Blaze Dragonia. And whenever she uses her ultimate Fire Blessing, it puts a Flame Curse on one of those Dragonia. Upon killing one of the Dragonia, it dispels all boss from your entire team and does huge damage. So you want to ignore the adds that have this curse until it expires after a couple of turns. Normally, you would just focus the boss here, but she's in stealth most of the time. So you need to bring some kind of AoE damage dealer, and hopefully you don't accidentally kill the Dragonia with the actual AoE attack. That's kind of the thing here. You need to bring AoE to get to the boss, but you could accidentally kill the adds. To make matters worse... The final Descent passive is the core mechanic of the fight. When the Mur High Priest's health is 50% or less and is attacked, dispels Flame Curse from all allies before sacrificing all Blaze Dragonia and summoning Renok the Walker. Renok the Walker becomes the boss monster and dispels all effects from the castle before fully recovering their health. Renok the Walker is a giant dragon. It is very, very difficult. We're not going to fight Renok the Walker in this actual guide. You see, we're going to take advantage of a little-known glitch that's been in Abyss 104 for half a decade, and they haven't patched it out. So either they're not aware of it, or they're totally okay with it. You see, the sacrificing of all Blaze Dragonia to summon Renok the Walker is an attack. In Epic 7, attacks do not proc additional effects if they miss. Which means... If you blind the Mur High Priest and bring it under 50%, you have a 50-50 chance of them just never summoning the boss, which trivializes the entire floor. So now that you know what we're doing, let's take a look at our actual team. For tanks, I'm going with Adventurer Raz. You can play whatever tank you want. Uh, Falconer Cleary is green versus a floor full of red units, so probably not that, but whatever you want. Brig, it doesn't really matter. Anything you could think of. You can use it here for your tank slot. Arius is the artifact. Health percentage necklace. Health percentage ring. Speed on the boots. Over 65% effectiveness. Tamarin here is going to be our main healer. Right? Wanderer's potion vial. But you can use whatever artifact you want here. Health percentage necklace. Health percentage ring. Speed on the boots. Again, effectiveness over like 60-65%. An AoE damage dealer of your choice. I'm just going with Mercedes because everyone has access to her. Super easy to build, right? For the most part. Speed or attack percentage on your boots. Attack percentage on your ring. And critical hit damage on your necklace. Magic for friends here. Whatever you could get for investment would be great. Level 60, 6 star woken. Ideal. And then the final slot. I will leave it to you as to what we're using. I'm using Furious because he is free from the game's connections. But simply, you just go over here, kind of to your uh, your search bar, right? your filter bar here, and go to debuffs and select reduced hit chance. Cool. These are all the characters that you can play in your box if you have them unlocked. Arya would be fantastic, for example, here. Ian could be good. If you can get Magic Scholar Doris to be your healer in this fight, and you just happen to have 60% effectiveness on her, that's great because her basic attack is blind. Take your pick. Anything you want to play here, if it's got blind in the kit, you could absolutely use it. Furious does not natively have blind, I should add. You'll notice that he didn't really show up there right away. He only gets it from his exclusive equipment here. On Fatal Bullet, he has a 75% chance to blind the target for two turns. And he just happens to give a really good defense break. So we'll be able to pressure the first floor boss as well as the Mur High Priest and get them down low very, very quickly in tandem with Raz's Soulburn. If for whatever reason, the Mur High Priest goes under 50% and summons the dragon, just restart the fight. Anyways, let's see if we get RNG and get it on the first try. So... This first floor is probably the most difficult part of the fight, at least for me. These adds here, these uh, martial artists do decent damage. And just like we had with the shield floor, this guy here, the elite pyro, he doesn't really take a ton of damage per cycle. So he's going to take forever to kill. So let's just kill all the adds before we actually take him on. Why should I spare you? So we need morale. Just choose one of them. Defense, break them. I 
Get an attack up here on Mercedes. Magic for friends. Obey me. If I must fight. Just soul burn here. I hope you're ready. Here I go. I heal up Mercedes. For the future of Oxford. Call. Mercedes. Preparation complete. Kill two again. Obey me. A lot of damage is gonna come out on this cycle. Protect you. I think we can hold off one more here on this. You can't close your eyes. Blood will flow like a river now. I actually could have morale there, it's fine. I will release my power. Now I will set. Obey me. Okay, so there's one down. Go away. Heal up. Give your all forward. This will cycle us out of our attack down. Defense break this. Soul burn here. Let me help you. Command me. S3. To the ends of futility. I I think I'm going to think. Big damage coming out there. Should we get started? Get our S3 out for the defense buff. That way Furious doesn't die here. And go idle mode here. It's okay to use one idle mode on this floor just because you're going to take forever to kill this guy. An S2 here, that'll pick off one of the other ads, and possibly the other one. Alright, cool. Both are down. So now we just take our time, and just slowly whittle this guy down. We just S1 here. S1. Why should I spare you? I will release my power. Uh -huh. I will Ladies shine. and gentlemen, let's shine. Right. Let's do this. With that. Blood will flow like a river. If we get the blind off from the exclusive equipment. There we go. Mercedes, Kill three. Unveil your eye of terror. You can't close your eyes. All right, so we're basically just going to hold Raz S2 and Tamar and Idol, but everything else is pretty much fair game to use on this floor. Alright, now we're on to the second floor, even though that first one took forever. Let's get our defense buff up. Let's go idle mode here. Heal everybody up. Morale boost. And then we're going to see if we get a blind here. All right, so we got a resistance. So what we're gonna do now is we're basically just gonna try to get this in range, but not too close. We want to keep it around sixty-five percent or so, and not really, you know, go too much lower than that. We're basically gonna try to stall four time until Furious has his abilities back. All right, so this is the mark. We don't want to kill this one, so we want to focus on attacking a different one. Mercedes We're going to only S1 the boss. We're not going to use any attack AoE attacks for Mercedes. We're only using AoE on Mercedes to de-stealth the character. Should we get started? All right. I'll do my best. Lady. Heal up here with Tamarin. 
All right. Go basic attack skill here. Oh, never mind. Misclick. All right, it's fine. I don't think we're gonna be in that much trouble. All right, yeah, we have a, we have our our abilities back here. Now let me look at her her abilities, right? So she's gonna use a basic attack skill here, so I don't have to worry about potentially a cleanse. Now let's see if we get the blind. Got the blind. All right. All right. So this is pretty simple. So we might lose Roz in the process here, but we're just trying to get it below 50% as fast as we possibly can here. So we go... Let's burn to heal Roz because we still have enough for one Arky anyway in the tank. Obey me. Obey me. For the future of Arkin. All right. Let's see here. We go Arky here. So it's under 50%, right? So we're going to go S3 here. And now we'll see if we proc the 50-50 miss. We're going to look for the miss chance. See? Missed. All right. So now we don't have to fight Renok. And all we have to do now is just simply kill the boss. It's just that simple. Obey me. I'm scared. S2 up here. If I must fight, death break. I hope you're ready. Let me help you. Give your all. Try this again. See if we get the death break. Will flow like a river. You can't close your eyes. Idle mode. Do my song. Listen to me sing. Shine free. Mercedes, preparation complete. Uh -huh. All right. Let's do this. Full burn Roz. Here I go. Ooh, lucky magic for friends. Obey me. Why should I spare you? Get a burn stack? No, no burn. Okay. Alright, it's stealthed again, so let's hit this one that's lowest here in the back. Now it's D stealth, and we could just go S3 and win the game. Super easy floor, right? Oh, well, one of our ads is left here, so we'll just kill that. Can we kill it before Roz dies? <laughs> I celebrated a little bit too early here. Did heal up here. Alright, there we go. Now it's done. <laughs> And there's Abyss Floor 104 in a nutshell. This one is way easier than the previous three that we've done. Again, you just need to get lucky, get that 50-50 miss chance. If you do, awesome. You just easily win the fight like you just saw me do there, right? You just have to kill the boss and the remaining adds. Just don't accidentally die to the burn from the curse and you are good to go. Hopefully this was of some help to you. If you have any more questions, let me know down in the comment section below. And if there are alternative strategies that you want to see other players employ, post those down there below. Because you never know, guys. Like, what if this ever gets patched because I bring attention to it with this video? If that happens, again, please post all of that down below. <sighs> all right. Next floor that we're going to have to do is Abyss 105, which is like Abyss 102, considered one of the hardest floors in the entire game. So, we'll see if we can come up with yet another free-to-play strategy using only free gear and free characters like we've been doing pretty much this entire series. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and I'll catch you all in Abyss 105. Later now.